Hey, what's going on guys? We're here in Las Vegas. We made it safely. We're at the industry day at the range for SHOT Show. There's a ton of firearms manufacturers here, a bunch of people shooting all kinds of different guns, all different calibers from all over the place. And we're gonna just go around, talk to people, see what's going on, and hopefully get to shoot some guns. So let's go check it out. This is the biggest firearms convention, like I think in the world, I, I think. I might be wrong. This is my first time here, so I don't know. There's definitely a lot more people than I anticipated, being that it's rainy and it's kind of doo-doo outside. They got a little, they got a little cowboy down there. Look at that. <laughs> That's dope. So Huxworks makes suppressors that expels the gas out front instead of in the rear, and they do a lot of work with um, Hunter 7 Foundation. So I wanted to check them out. I've never seen one of their suppressors up, up close. I might buy one. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is nice. I like this. So if you come stand over here, watch the suppressor when I shoot it, and you can really see where all the gas is going. Yeah. Yeah, it all goes straight out the yep. front. So nothing is coming back into your face. It's all going straight out. Helps with recoil, but it keeps all the bad gas out of your face. Dude, that is sick. And you can do it online. You guys have a website and all that, I'm yep, assuming. We've got it online. Go for it. We've got okay. it online, but you also, it, for military. Yeah. So we do have a military discount as well. I see. I wasn't even going to ask because people, people are probably, like everybody fine. here is probably prior or is active or in law enforcement, so it's like I'm not even, you know. We, we like to tell you up front just so you don't feel bad for asking. Yeah. It's our way of saying thank you. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm invested. <laughs> I'm invested in this. I like this. Like Slugs? Slugs everything. <laughs> that's bananas, man. A suppressed shotgun. I don't really think about putting suppressors on shotguns very much. I don't know. So it doesn't occur to me. That's why it's a government contract majority. So it just came out for a shot show. It's really, it's a preacher shotgun round or okay. a suppressor. But it's just, it's an option for a contract. You could still put it in form fours for it? Not yet. Not yet. So right now it's just contract base only. Okay. But here in the future it might come to commercial. That's above my pay grade. Yeah, we're working. Yeah, that's the people up here are working on that we're stuff. Okay. That stuff. Very briefly, this is a five-inch suppressed 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun. Five-inch so suppressed five semi-automatic. Semi-automatic shotgun. 12 gauge. 12 gauge. Okay. On AR-10 lower. So this okay. is a DPMS AR-10 308 lower that we've beefed up to handle the violent nature of a 12 gauge. Yeah. So our 12 gauge upper on it, Huxworks 12, uh, Ventum 12K can, and then uh, it's semi. This one's actually fully automatic, but we can't do full auto. <laughs> a fully automatic shotgun. And it runs reliably. Dude. I'll, I'll load this up for you and tell me what you think. Bro. Dude. First impressions on the recoil? <laughs> that's not bad. Not bad, right? It's not bad. Yeah, for a 12 gauge shotgun, that's not bad at all. I guess this is just, he, he was saying this is just for contracts right now, right? It is just for contract right now. Now, will it be made available in the future? We're told, probably. Probably? We're working on it. Well, we can't confirm or deny it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today, but I got gotcha. you. Look, look forward to them being available. Well, I want one one day. Yes. <laughs> that's, I want a shotgun like that one day. That's sick, you can man. Get the shotgun today. The shotgun is commercially available. Okay, just it. without the can on it and everything, yeah. Yeah, the, the can is uh, the works. For How much does a shotgun like that go for if it's about, built like that? About 33. 33, okay. I like it. Well, hey, I appreciate you letting me shoot your gun, man. That's yep. sick. <laughs> nice hydra, too. I, I like it. I, like I appreciate the, the subtle it. Subtle flex, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go to Kimber right here. Since they're right here, the right next one's might as well. It's the first, first uh, firearm I've ever bought, so. Do you guys have any 1911s here? Yes, we have a couple. A couple? Yep, the 9 to 45, what are you looking for? See if I can shoot a 45? Right up here. Yeah. Right over here? The person that convinced me to get Kimber was a friend of mine I lived with, a roommate, a, an old roommate who, who served in the Rangers. Okay. And he recommended Kimber to me, so that was the first. I got the, t the Tactical Custom 2. Nice. It was my first pistol. Awesome. My first awesome. firearm, period. Oh my god.
I have not been shooting nearly as much as I should be because I'm entirely too busy for my own good. I haven't shot a 45 in a long time and that's like what I own. I only have one pistol and it's just a 45. So that was really, that was really cool. That thing is silent. That's like as silent as you get, dude. You gotta put about a day in on it before you really kind of get comfortable. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm amazed I was able to hit that it, at least once. I only go. needed one, man. I feel good at least one. 50 yards out, you know. Obviously, based on his jacket. This is definitely Barrett. <laughs> I think we're in the right place. <laughs> is this the back of the line here? Yeah. Okay. The big boys are down here. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think this is what everybody's wanting to shoot is the yeah, big boys. Yeah. What's going for Barrett? That's the 50 cal. That's a Barrett 50 cal right there. I think. I'm pretty sure. It's, uh, 416. What's that? 416. 416? So not quite 50. Not quite. It's, uh, it's got better numbers than 50 cal. It's faster. Still massive. <laughs> so freaking bigger than 338, smaller than 50. So that one, we got a 338 right there. Okay. Is. Okay. 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 Is that a Barrett rifle though? No, it's an AI. It actually costs more than Barrett. Really? That's 10 grand, that rifle. 10 grand. Damn. I'm on the right. Yeah, there we go. Close. It's, it's going to be in the bottom of the reticle or lift up the back end just a little bit and you'll be able to see the target. All right, don't shoot yet until you get on target. Let me know you're on target. Center, center. On target. All right, spot her up. All right, finger on the trigger. Don't go bang until we put pressure on it. Gotcha. All right, focus on that last one. I want two and a half pounds of pressure. Impact. <laughs> Good job. You want your Dude. rest? Yeah, sure. All right, I appreciate it, man. Flying check bag, not carry on. Don't makes sense. It. Hey, I appreciate Good it, man. Job, that was sir. sick. <laughs> that, was, that definitely there's not as much kick no, as you it's think. No, not. That, that muzzle break is very effective. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hey, man, I appreciate yes, it. Sir. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Hey, what's up, guys? Day two of Shot Show. We're here on the house floor right now, and the Expo Center is crazy. We're at the TrijaCon booth right now. We're getting ready to talk to Tim Kennedy and some of the folks that are around here. It's it's gonna be a long day, but we're gonna be going to talk to some awesome people and learning a lot and seeing a lot of cool stuff, so I'm super excited. How do you turn this on, I wonder? I, I, I wish I wasn't so poor. <laughs> Orin Julie? Yes. Kagan Dunlap. <laughs> this is Orin Julie. One of, hey. you're, you're an officer in the IDF, yeah, right? Yeah, in the search and rescue. And see, in the search and rescue? Nice. See, and I, so we're both officers. I didn't know she was an officer until this year, but I knew I was going to have to come say hi. Chelsea, this is, it's like small world. I got to say hi to everybody, but it's good to finally meet you. Chelsea, how are you? Good to see you. What's your name? I'm George. George yeah, Kagan. I follow it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Yeah, my kids have me down to the academy. He's like, this guy's funny. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I, dude, I love the beard, first off. I'm jealous. Army. You know the little black rifle coffee? Oh, it's like, that's tearing tactical right there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm always losing my shit about it. Gotta. Hey, I enjoy your channel or your content. Are you, you're, you work with Turn? Yeah, I'm his operations manager. No kidding. You know who I am? I know who you are. Right? You're, you're, you're I, you do too? Right. Dude, can I get a, can I get a picture with you? You're like, hey, dude, hey, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fangirling right now over everybody here, man. This guy right here, this guy right here, man. I'm like, I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing ever. It brings everybody that's across the entire planet together to all do the same shit that everyone's passionate about. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bud. how you doing, man? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Yeah, good. Good to see you, man. Do you know Austin Alexander? No, I don't think he's met you. You should, you should absolutely know this guy. Yeah. Been, he's been doing this shit a lot longer than I have. He knows a lot more well, about it. Well, we need an Air Force guy. We got the Joint Chiefs going on here, basically. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I want one. A suppressed 240. This is sick. Look at this freaking thing, dude. I wonder if you can... Look at that. That's beautiful. This is, this is sweet right here. 
Oh yeah. Now you have free rotation anywhere you want. Yeah. To this is called this is still called referred to as a scissor mount, right? Swing arm. Swing arm. Some people call it a scissor mount. Swing arm, same, same, yeah, same, same. All right, I guess we'll go back here, take a look at some of this stuff. Is this considered a pistol brace? Yes. Okay. So this would be considered a brace, this would be considered a stock. So this is an SBR, this is a pistol. This is a stock. That's a stock, this is a brace, this is a pistol, this is an SBR. This what is constitutes time. this as a stock as opposed to this? This has got uh, the ability to attach to the forearm. It's not meant to be shouldered. So for disabled veterans, that's one of the reasons why we fought so hard to keep the braces from being banned this year because yeah. you know if you got guys that are disabled and they can't shoot or whatever it's just another way of unlocking the ability for them to participate in that is a pec 16 on top of that bad boy too we had such bare weapons and the sco that is literally like what they what they give out to a lot of the marine infantrymen with all these i want i want to pick your brain so for the m320 it's a side loading right yes. this pops out to the side Am I able to do that, but or not right now because it's set up a certain way where it's like you can't. Oh, okay. So you press in the trigger well, or in the trigger guard. Okay, and that pops it out. I've been seeing this all over the place. I've never even held one or seen one in person before. So how do you tell? I mean, there's a red dot right there, right? How do you? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you want to shoot it for 200 meters. Okay, we want it to go 200 meters, so there it is. Point A, point A and point of impact is 200 meters. You gotta know how far away it is, though. Everything here is cool, and I want a little bit of all of it. You know what I mean? Nice. Brother, that is beautiful. That is some amazing Jesus Christ. Hey. Brother, it's been awesome meeting you, man. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. We'll Dude, every every booth we get stuck at for like an hour. Yeah. But that's just because there's so many people I want to talk to. Like, I don't want to just leave and not get a chance to talk to everybody, you know? We're about to get some interview kind of stuff. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got a little bit of a little slap around there? A little bit. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Kagan. He's an active duty Marine. Yeah. And this is your first time at SHOT Show. Very first time, very first time at SHOT Show. Super excited to be here, man. I've been meeting so many incredible people in the industry. It's all, it's like, my brain's melting. Yeah, There's so the, the Marines, they effectively put you in a cage. They starve you with equipment and then make you go out and fight. <laughs> yeah, and then here, much. you have every single thing that could possibly make your job easier that oh, you yeah. mostly don't get. Oh yeah. What has been your favorite? You're well fed here. Like, uh, yeah, you're very satiated appetite here for sure. But like all of the, like, the suppressor stands, like all the different technologies that are out there that are making it safer for people, like for the users and stuff like that. I mean, it's so hard to even put into words because there's so much cool stuff. Yeah. Right now is one of the best times for this industry because we have the most stuff at our disposal yeah. than we've ever had before. Dude, high intensity, high energy. I, I kind of want some more caffeine even though it's kind of late, but I plan on staying up. This is day two, day two. First day of SHOT Show where I'm actually like on the house floor and it's been insane. All right, so we're wrapping up here at the House of Blues right now. We've just finished the Veteran Success Resource Group Burbiz event here in Las Vegas. I am extremely hoarse because I've been screaming and yelling all day. So I don't know if anyone has watched the show Stranger Things before, but today we have something that's very very, very awesome in the community. That happens to also be a Navy vet as well. Would you, would you mind introducing yourself, say who you are? Hi, I'm Jennifer Marshall, I'm a Navy vet. I served for five years. I'm probably best known as Max's mom on Stranger Things, but I also have a show on the CW called Mysteries Decoded. So, I've been following what you do. You do a lot of like, you do philanthropy and stuff. You work with veteran organizations. Yeah. Like in your off time, outside of your, your acting career and everything like that. Yeah. What, what kind of things do you usually do in like that, that theater? Like that so I volunteer for American Corporate Partnership, which is you, you pair veterans who are seeking a career in TV and film up with veterans who have a have a career in TV and film. Okay. I also work with Pinups for Vets, which is a congressionally recognized award-winning nonprofit out of Los Angeles. Pinups for Vets. Yes. I've heard of them. Yes, and we visit uh, veterans in hospitals and nursing homes dressed up in 1940s garb. That's freaking cool. It's man. great. Tomorrow we got day three. We got some plans for tomorrow. There's some things going on, and uh, I'm excited for it. We will see you guys tomorrow morning for day three. Hey, what's going on? We're on day. 
three, and we're going to be sitting in uh, observing a panel, an anti-suicide and suicide prevention and awareness panel called Targeting Solution. It's by the Independence Fund. We're going to talk to a few people in there. We're going to listen to what everyone has to say. Let's get in there and check it out. But I think at the end of the day, the story you tell yourself and the questions you ask yourself a lot of times are the difference between whether or not you make it through this world in a productive way. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's up? Check this out, man. All right, guys, so we just got done filming a little podcast up at the Huxworks podcast booth above the Huxworks booth in SHOT Show in Las Vegas. A buddy of mine, Bart Kwan, really cool guy, really big in the fitness industry. Uh, if you wanted to watch the rest of it, then it's going to be posted separately on my YouTube. You'll be able to find it. We're going to go talk to Mike Jones, the same guy that is Grand Thumb on YouTube and Instagram and everything. I need to fucking talk to this guy because, like, he was a huge, like, had a huge impact on me as like a, like, as a leader in like leadership development. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I actually let me give you something real quick before before we keep going. Yeah. I know you're busy. I don't want, I don't want you to wait too much. I bought this in Firebase Shadadi, Syria, when I was out there this past year. It's just a sweatshirt. It says Syria Gonya on the front. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's for you. I so, you so I figured there'd be something cool. Just I, I whatever, you whatever you want to do, man, you know? Syria, you. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll work. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for sure. How do you guys know each other? Do you guys know each other? Yeah, seriously. It's, uh, he's in yeah. Bernie, or Texas. He's, uh, he's in You're in Bernie, too? He's in San Antonio. I'm, I'm in Hale, like, Hale. It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I don't think, I, were you at the range day? Yeah, but there was a thousand people there. Yeah, yeah I dude, I was like, I'm, I'm, I was the same way then that I am right now. Okay. Where my brain was just melting because I met too many people and just overloaded with it's just lot, like right? interacting and talking to people. Good to meet you. You got all good tattoos. You have no bad tattoos? I probably have some bad tattoos on my I got, chest. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what is, that? is that a nine volt? It's B positive. B positive. Uh, I just had this idea because like I have a homie that's like always mad about some dumb shit. I was like, bro, you gotta be positive. Yeah, you gotta be positive. I like that. Yeah. The worst, the most painful one I got was this one on my rib cage. Oh, See, like that. I don't know. This, I don't know if this is a good one or not. It's just a quote. What the? He said white people. Ah! <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? This is Ballistic High Speed. So I don't know if you guys have seen their video recently of, of a, was it an RPG-7 or It was it was an RPG-2 RPG-2 rocket. Out of an RPG-7 launcher. Out of an RPG-7 launcher. Yeah, that's one, yeah. And it exploded as you were trying to fire the weapon. His helmet flew off his head and it was just a complete, utter insanity moment. And yeah. like, fortunately yeah. you survived the situation and you've recovered very well. Yeah. Um, Got one surgery to go. But how many surgeries did you end up having from that? I think I had four while I was in Vanderbilt. Okay. And then I would have been done. Um, they left the cheekbone to heal naturally because it was held in by other structures. Yeah. It didn't quite work out. So I'm gonna have to go back in, get it rebroken, have a plate put on it, wire the jaw shut for 10 weeks. Then I'll be done. Jesus, how many surgeries total then? So if they have to do that one, I think it would be five. Five total? Yeah. How scared were you when you saw that Me? happen? Were you freaking it's out? Extremely. <laughs> anyway, man, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I, yeah, I love what you guys do. You do an awesome job. Yeah, like, we're gonna try to keep, keep doing it. Yeah, as long keep, as you can. Yeah. keep it up, man. You guys are killing it out there. Well, this is the cry official party. I was told this is the most well-known banger for all of SHOT Show. I don't know if you guys know who PSR is, but this guy right here, he is hilarious. Like, if you don't know, follow his channels or anything, I highly recommend it. The first video I ever saw of yours was the one where you're, you had the pink pistol yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, the, the, I don't even, and you're like, and you're like yes, shooting queen, like that. Yes, Dude, that was the funniest thing ever, bro. I've, I have literally, I was crying laughing oh, from that. You. But if you guys don't know who this dude is, print, shoot, repeat, check him out. I highly recommend it. Dude, it's hilarious, man. <laughs> we just got done with the cry official after party for SHOT Show 2024 in Las Vegas. 
and it was pretty cool. I ate a couple cheeseburgers. We went on a dance floor for a little bit. I'm losing my voice because I've been screaming all day, but it was cool. Tons of people there. Everybody was super nice. It's really cold outside, but we'll see you tomorrow morning and we'll start on the final day that I'm here. We're about to, we're about to see Medal of Honor recipient Earl Plumley. He was a staff sergeant in Afghanistan in 2013. August 28th, he was awarded the Medal of Honor for actions in the Ghazni province of Afghanistan. That, that FOB got attacked in Ghazni, like FOB Ghazni, right? Yep. And complete utter chaos. If you have an opportunity, highly recommend that you read the citation for Earl Plumley. You were a staff sergeant at the time? When I was you, a staff sergeant at the actions time. Actions occurred? Yep. You were a master sergeant when you got out, or are you still in? You got out? I've, I've been a civilian for four days now. Civilian so. for four days? <laughs> well, goddamn. Yeah. Like, you know. This uh, is my, my first shot show as a civilian, so I've been, you know, I'm well, able God to. God bless you. Drinking in public. You and, earned it. Yeah. <laughs> you were in 1st uh, Special Forces Group. Yeah. In 4th Battalion, correct? Right. Okay. And how long did you spend, how long did you spend in that unit? So I was, uh, I did uh, 14 years in the Army, all of them in 1st Group. 14 years in first groups AO is Europe, is that right? No, it's uh, it starts in Hawaii and it ends in Pakistan. So. Okay, so it's mostly PACOM. Yeah, yeah. Did you know some guys in third Marines, I guess? So I was in third Marine, I was a Marine for 10 years. No kidding. Yeah, that's why I was like. I don't know why I didn't realize this. So I, I was in uh, first battalion, third Marines. From, you were in one three. From 2000 to 2004. Were you, what was your MOS when you were? Uh, I was a 0351. You were an assaultman. Yeah. Okay, I was a 0352. Yeah. So. The, uh, the, not the same. The guy's exact getting thing. promoted. You, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the that was the one thing they were That's, promoting us fast. Again, I appreciate hey man, I appreciate you your around. time. Yes, we'll definitely see you around. You bet, man. Um, again, appreciate you taking the time to you come bet. down and talk to talk to me, man. It means a lot. Yeah. If you, again, if you guys if you guys haven't checked out Earl Plumley, you need to Google him and find out more about him. Learn learn what's going on. Learn what he's doing. So. Oh. Sh yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Oh, that's freaking dope. Look at this. Check that out, challenge coin. That is that is freaking awesome right there, man. Staff Sergeant Earl Plumley, Ghazni, August 18th, 2013. That dude was so down to earth. Like, dude, that dude is a Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor recipient. Super down to earth, friendly guy. Just like, just like, average Joe dude. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, that was an awesome interaction. Like, I love meeting people like that. That have just so many of these people I've met that have just done absolutely incredible things. Um, a lot of them are just like super humble folks, man. Super humble, super humble dudes and dudettes. Like that was really cool meeting him. MSRP, $1,800. But that's a bad, that's a bad pistol right there, dude. It's still got the safety back here. You have to like actually have your, it won't fire unless you're holding that. So this one does not have ambidextrous safety. It's only got safety on one side, but a lot of mine has an ambidextrous safety. So I don't know if they have, any of these have an ambidextrous, this one does. So you can see you've got on this side, you can turn it up like that, or if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can turn it up right here. So that's a safety feature, that's a safety feature. You have to be pressing that down in order to speed the trigger, or it won't go off. We're gonna go do this podcast at like 12.15. podcast went great if you want to check it out you can see it on my youtube it's gonna be listed up there once it's done being edited uh, it might already be up there now i don't know we'll see you'll you'll find out if you look on my long form content videos you'll see it up there <laughs> i was ready her name is riley r-e-i l i'll spell it for you r e i i l l y that's it yep dude look at this I wanted to wish you an amazing marriage with Kagan. He told me that you're amazing, smart, and beautiful. I send you hugs. Aww. From Orin Julie. All right, well, we're at the end of night four. It's Thursday night. We've been here since Monday morning. We had four days of SHOT Show, four days of 
running all over the place. Okay, we're at the Huxworks after party for SHOT Show 2024 in Las Vegas. They got wrestling, apparently Hoist Gracie's here right now. Apparently there's a bunch of other people that are probably super famous here. So we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a pretty wild night, so. It's hard for me to word. It's hard for sentence. Me no speaky, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's been the craziest experience ever. And honestly, like, I'm gonna do everything I can to come back because the people here are all awesome. The community has been absolutely incredible. Everybody's been super nice, no matter how big, small, famous, not famous. Everybody's been super cool with each other, supportive, nice, kind. Everyone's been inviting. Everyone's like, hey, come come out, hang out. Let's go do this thing. Hey, come check out our stuff. Come do this stuff. It has been the greatest thing ever. And, you know, if you ever get a chance to go to SHOT Show, I, I can't recommend it enough. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>